in the Russian Far East, bordering the western North Pacific Ocean, dedicated killer whale research has led to a new project to study the habitat needs of whales and dolphins. The Russian Cetacean Habitat Project was established in 2007. Our Russian team works in two main areas. The first is in Avacha Gulf along the Kamchatka Peninsula. Here, the fish-eating killer whales are the most common species. We gather fish scales to find out the fish species they feed on, various species of salmon as well as Atka mackerel. Besides their feeding habits, we study their social structure and other behavior to promote their conservation. Are they getting enough to eat? We've noticed that some of the areas frequented by killer whales a few years ago have now been heavily fished for Atka mackerel. The orcas are very curious and some are playful. That may be a good sign of a healthy population. But we find other killer whales in the population that are emaciated or have bullet holes in their bodies. A bullet wound may be the result of an incident with fishermen when the whales try to take halibut or other fish from fishermen's nets and long lines. Recently, a member of our team attended the international workshops of the Convention on Biological Diversity in Moscow to argue for the nomination of the key killer whale area along southeast Kamchatka as an ecologically or biologically significant area. This recognition, if agreed at the meeting of the parties next year, will pave the way for marine protected area proposals. Our second study area is in the Commander Islands, located in Russian waters at the end of the Aleutian chain of islands. This place is famous for its strong winds, which alternate with nearly impenetrable fog. When conditions are good, we spend long days at sea, We find that Dal's porpoises are among the most common species. Humpback whales feed all day on krill in the rich waters around the islands. Sometimes there is group feeding. A decade ago, there were very few humpback whales traveling to these waters. Killer whales also often travel here in search of food some of them from Kamchatka. In most cases, however, they are moving through and may not stay long, in contrast to Kamchatka. The Commander Islands are one of the few places where you can see Baird's beaked whales close to shore. We take photos of these whales to identify individuals and study their social structure. We have started the first photo ID catalog for Baird's beaked whales, a species sometimes hunted by killer whales, caught in drift nets, and sometimes even harpooned, although not always successfully. Japanese coastal whalers harpoon about 60 a year, but we don't know if this is part of the same population. The waters of these islands also provide food for other marine mammals. Sea otters are abundant in the area, feeding on mussels, sea urchins, and other bottom-dwelling invertebrates. After catching food, sea otters typically lie on their backs at the surface, their front paws sorting through the catch and gorging themselves on the local specialties.
harbor seals gather around river mouths during the salmon run. They hunt the pink salmon, which enters the rivers in great numbers. What are the precise conditions that enable these various predator-prey relationships to flourish here? How do we ensure that these productive ecosystems will continue to support the rich life that is found here? These are some of the questions we hope to answer. At present, all of these marine mammals and their ecosystem are protected as part of the largest marine protected area in Russia. The boundaries of the Commander Islands State Biosphere Reserve extend for 30 nautical miles around the islands. Other areas of the Russian Far East, however, are not protected. There remains much to learn and much to do to ensure effective protection. The Russian Cetacean Habitat Project is very much a work in progress.